Hey guys, this is Kaiju2974117. Some quick updates. So first things first, yes, I got a Godzilla cap, which I bought it from GameStop. And if you guys can, try to find this kind of cap in GameStop because it's pretty rare. Like the same thing how I found my Godzilla shirt and the other Godzilla shirt, which is the GMK Godzilla. So anyways, let's do some quick updates. First things first, today is the one year anniversary for our passing great hero. Stan Lee. So exactly one year ago, Stan Lee passed away. Unfortunately, our greatest hero is gone and no longer on our earth. So I just want to take a moment today to give quick silence and to remember all the great things that Stan Lee has done for us and for Marvel fans and all the heroes he created to inspire all of us. Alright, so anyways, I want to say to Stan Lee if he is, if he can, well, and to Stan Lee's family for, I just want to say to the family, I want to say Stan Lee was a great man and I want to thank him for his creation of Marvel heroes, including my personal favorite, Spider-Man. And the reason is because Spider-Man is one of my favorite heroes and he's like, kind of like me in a way, we're both like high school nerds. We both like to help people. We do like some acrobatic martial arts in a way. Well, probably he did more events than me, of course. And of course, one thing in common is life. Like for example, when we, once we graduate college, we try to find jobs. He's suffering to find jobs, me too. It's something like how I can relate to Spider-Man, which is why many of us like Spider-Man because he's so relatable to us, at least most of us. And as well, he's like one of our favorite heroes of Marvels. But anyways, I want to say thank you so much for Stan Lee for creating these amazing heroes and for us to be inspired. We wish you were alive to see how successful the films have gone by, especially The Endgame and Spider-Man Far From Home. I appreciate for those creations and for what you have done and especially with your great cameos. It is such an honor to see all your cameos. Anyways, Thank you so much. Now, anyways, let's go on to a next update today. So, if you see by now, Sonic the Hedgehog has released a new trailer with a new redesign. I am so happy and I'm excited to see that movie next year. Now, it's coming on Valentine's Day, so if you guys are planning to watch on Valentine's Day, that's go ahead. It's great. Now. When I first saw the movie for the trailer, the first trailer that came out six months ago, it was really horrifying. Definitely was. And here's a funny thing. It should have released four days ago, but they took the time to readjust the film and they actually delayed it. And I think it's the best option. And after seeing the trailer, I'm pretty sure everyone is happy. Now this shows that movie industries and the directors or executive producers or visual arts, uh, visual artists can actually do that. If they willing to change the movies to please the audience, that's what you should do. You want to gain money, you have to please the audience. Unlike Terminator Dark Fate. Look at that. We got half people already liking it and many people hating it. James Cameron, Tim Miller, you better listen very carefully. This is how you do movies. You want to do movies justice, you got to give it to the fans. You want to give it you want to get money from them, you got to please the fans. You got to please the audience. Unfortunately, you only got that much money that is not got to be even a box office success. Look at that. You see that? Now, especially to other movie industries like Transformers, Michael Bay, you got to see how these guys are doing it. Now, the movie has not come out yet, so we still Keep our hype level at least steady. Now the reason why is because sometimes trailers may look great, but the movie may suck. So what are potentials that Sonic the Hedgehog could succeed and could not? So when we first saw the movie, of course the design was terrible. And of course the story and the characters were kind of wacky in a way. But for me, I don't kind of care. But what I cared is how they did to Sonic was creepy indeed. But after the redesign, I'm actually in for it. Now, of course, the story and the dialogues are still in there. Maybe they may have changed some, but we're not too sure yet. 
But hopefully, if they have some improvements, then it has a chance to succeed. But regardless, I think the movie will do great. And if you see, this is how you please your audience. You want to make sure everyone is pleased. If you want their money, you want to earn their money, you got to make sure you please your audience. Otherwise, no money, no talk. But that's how it is. So anyways, today has been a really great day, I guess. It's been... A good day in a way for people who are huge fans for Sonic and this definitely brought a smile to our face and as well for a sad day to remember Stanley's passing but Stanley will be in our hearts just to let you guys know anyways another update I would like to do is the Godzilla vs Kong trailer well it's November we're kind of getting close to its release date should we be worried? You, I understand we are worrying for Godzilla vs. Kong because they're probably going to delay it. Unfortunately for me, I won't be too afraid. And the reason is because I think the closer with the trailer with the movie, the better. Because if you like release it just a year later and then the hype just try to go up, up, up and then goes down all of a sudden, it's not going to work. I recommend probably keep it close to the, um, to the release date. At least like maybe three to four months is a good range. Maybe three will be even better range. And the reason is because so that way we can all be excited to see what's coming out. Especially for 2020 movies. Now, I can totally understand everyone's concern. I'm half concerned. My only concern is I'm hoping Godzilla's going to win. Because there are people already speculating and theorizing that Kong is going to defeat Godzilla. Now, here's my theories for... Who's going to win and who's not going to win? Or what are the outcomes of it? So here's the thing. If Kong did defeat Godzilla, however he did, then Kong will become the new king of the monster, of course. But that's me. He also has to control the other titans. That's a problem. He can only focus on Skull Island. That's it. That's his territory. And unfortunately, if he has to become king of the monsters, he has to protect the entire Earth. He's an Earth Guardian, but he's a Skull Island Defender. He's a god to those people, which is a really big job for Kong already. Now, if he becomes the king of the monsters, he actually has to watch over the world, which we already know Kong only cares is for his home and Skull Island. That is it. Now, will Kong kill Godzilla? It's most likely not, but he will probably defeat Godzilla. And then there, there's possibly a chance that Godzilla, most likely Godzilla's going to win. Now here's the reason why. Godzilla, Dr. Sirizawa said in King of the Monsters, Godzilla is the key to coexistence. If he is the key, he is the only one who could defeat King Kong. Now King Kong may be a worthy adversary that almost defeat Godzilla, but he could, but he still cannot defeat Godzilla. Now here's the reason why. Back in Godzilla King of the Monsters, when Ghidorah is already destroying and ruling the world, controlling the other titans. Kong is the only one that doesn't react to his call, along with Mothra. But because of it, Kong is pissed off for the skull crawlers coming out from the island. Now, Dr. Sirizawa said there's no other titans that can defeat Ghidorah except Godzilla. Because both of them have a unique rivalry. They're ancient. Which is why Godzilla is the only worthy monster to defeat Ghidorah. He did not even consider... Kong as a next option, which we already know Ghidorah is already big enough to kill Kong. Even if you see how Ghidorah brings Godzilla up to the freaking sky and drop him down. Now, if Godzilla does defeat King Kong and wins, then here's what's going to happen. God Kong has to let Godzilla rule Skull Island, which that could be a bad thing, but Skull Island could become Monster Island. That could be the Monster versus Monster Island. Because why? There's already full of monsters in there. Now, it's a possible chance if Godzilla is the one that can help reshape balance, Skull Island could become bigger. I'm not too sure how. But he could call the other Titans if they all need refuge to stay in. Which could piss Kong off very much. Which at the end, post credit, it does show that there are other multiple monsters heading to Skull Island, even new ones that we never heard. Especially the new monster called Kamazaz, I believe. That's the giant bat titan that's gonna be fighting Kong in a in a Kong 
comic related issue before Godzilla vs. Kong, which is that's one possibility. Now for any possibilities or theories when Godzilla vs. Kong trailer coming out, maybe this month or maybe next month. It's one of those two options and it's the only chance and possibilities. The reason is because that's the only time that they're going to hype us for 2020 movies, which I am looking forward to and that's probably my number one movie that I am looking forward to for next year. And yes, we got lots of multiple new movies coming out, like Scooby-Doo's uh, rebooted cartoon, Scoob, and Sonic the Hedgehog, all those kind of things. Anyways, guys, that is all for the update, and I'm hoping you guys enjoy your day. And I'm sorry if I haven't posted for quite a while. I will try to post some new content videos if I can, maybe more movie reviews. I haven't done, I was planning to do Midway and... Um, during the Veterans Day, or maybe some Call of Duty games I like to review on Veterans Day, but I don't know if that was an appropriate time. But who knows? But I will probably do some more video game reviews later on. But in the meantime, stay tuned for some new upcoming contents. Thank you guys so much. If you guys want to comment down below, just let me know what you guys think. Leave a like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And anyways, thank you so much, guys. This is Kaiju2014117, signing off.